Greetings Carbonauts, this is Miguel Piña, aka MaxMaps, just thrilled to tell you about the new Kerbal Space Program update, made in collaboration with NASA. This groundbreaking mission is divided in three parts, so first things first. The tracking station now shows every unknown object that will enter Kerbin's SOI. Just mousing over them and selecting some of these objects will tell you a lot about them. Most importantly, their class, and thus, how large they are. Found one you liked, select it, click on the track object button, and you'll know the exact trajectory the asteroid will follow. But that's the easy part. To catch an asteroid, you're going to need to build big. I mean big. I mean really big. I mean big enough to warrant brand new, absolutely massive parts. After a little design polishing, you need to launch your meteor wrangling behemoth. Notice something different? Like a complete lack of vertical strutting? Thanks to a new Unity feature, heavy rockets got way more stable. That means a lot less struts. But now for part 2 of the mission. An asteroid. It may look huge to you, but you're looking at a pretty average rock size-wise. They can get massive. But Max, how do I grab an asteroid? They don't have docking ports. Well, now you have the advanced grabbing unit. It chooses who will go and who will stay. This beauty will grab onto anything. Asteroids, spaceships, Kerbals who won't share their snacks. Possibilities are endless. Just make sure you handle it with care. Slowly move close to whatever you want to grab onto, like, say, a thousand tons of minerals. Then let the mechanism do the rest. Now, as anyone who has tried lifting a bowling ball with their pinky will tell you, it's all about how you hold it. That's why you can right-click on the asteroid to target the center of mass, unlock the AGU's pivot, and then adjust till you're perfectly aligned with your asteroid and ready to efficiently move it around. Test your capture design, light up your engines and get ready for phase 3. You did it, you've caught your own asteroid. You pulled it out of a Kerbin 5A or a horrifying impact into a safe and stable orbit. Now reap the rewards. EVA around, explore it, get to know every procedurally generated nuke and cranny, take samples, rename it, but most importantly, have fun and enjoy a new appreciation for the incredibly hard and impossibly cool things the awesome people at NASA are doing. We hope you'll enjoy playing the ARM pack as much as we loved making it. If you would like to know more about the actual NASA ARM mission, click on this link. Trust me, it's amazing.